dear students open your maths book chapter 11 geometry the first topic in your chapter is point what is point a tiny dot represents a point it shows an exact location if you draw any single point in any page or board or anything it is called point when we give the name to the point is called name of the point what is the name of point point a second is line segment a line segment has two end point and it has a fixed length line segment has a fixed length for example we draw a line and give point a and point b the two point is joined so we give the name of point a and point b a line segment ab has two end points the c a and b a a and b is denoted by drawing a bar over ab that mean ab bar this is called line segment now next third is line what is line a line has no end points we understand this with the help of diagram line what is this this is a line we draw the arrow heads the arrow head shows ki there is no end points we increase this line like this and like this there is no end point this is called line and we cannot measure this line fourth is ray a ray has starting point but no end points for example the sun gives you a light we give the name a but their rays has no end point b says there is no end point so a is your starting point but there is no end point this is called ray i hope is that clear we now we study some shapes basic shapes basic shapes shapes are used in four types first rectangle second is square
square. Third is triangle. Sorry. Fourth is circle. These are four basic shapes. It is triangle. And it is circle. Now these are four basic shapes. Firstly we know what is rectangle. A rectangle A rectangle has how many sides? Four sides. How many sides? Four sides. And four corners. Four sides and four corners. The one point is very important. Where rectangle opposite sides are equal. For example, if it is 1, it means the opposite side is equal, 1. And this side is 2, this side is also 2. So, we say the opposite sides of a rectangle is equal. Opposite sides 